Welcome. So in this lesson, we're going to begin talking about transformations. And the first type of transformation we're going to talk about is translations. So transformations come in three forms. Translation, move left to right, up, down. Dilation, stretch or compress. And reflection in the X or Y axis. A transformation of points in the XY plane occurs when every point in the plane is given a new position according to some rule. A convenient method of defining this new position is to represent each ordered pair XY of a, of a function as transformed to a new ordered pair X dash Y dash according to a rule. So at the moment, you're probably reading this and thinking, what on earth does this mean? But don't fear, by the end of the lesson, once we've gone through all our examples, this will make perfect sense. Okay, let's come here and look at the very first thing that we're going to do. And we're going to start slowly and just talk about transla translating a single point. So even before we read the question, let's just look over here. What the question is going to basically tell us is, hey, we're going to start with a point. And the original point that we're going to start with is x, y. We're then going to apply some translations to it and arrive at a new point. And the new point is what we call x dash y dash. And you know what? I might give this one a different color. So we're starting with this one. Then our new point is going to be that one. Perfect. Okay, let's now read the question. The question says, find the image of the point 1, 4 after a mapping of a translation of two units in the positive direction of the x-axis and three units in the negative direction of the y-axis. So it says find the image of the point 1, 4 after the mapping of these translations. So it's given us our original point. The original point is going to be 1, 4 and it wants us to find what x dash y dash is. That's what it means when it says find the image of the point after the translations have been applied. It wants us to find this. Now, this is a pretty easy question and we don't really need that advanced uh, notation to figure it out, but we're going to show you the notation that we use to answer these type of questions. And you're probably going to think this is needlessly difficult, but trust me, once we get to a more complicated questions, this notation is going to be really helpful. Okay, so let's now look at this notation. So what we say is we start with our original point right here. That's this. And this original point maps to our new point. So right here, so we're starting with our original point and this is our new point. What we then do is we rewrite this sentence. We're starting with our original point. Now, can we say anything specific about this new point based on the description we've been told here? Do we know anything about what x dash is going to be? And we do because we've been told that it's two units in the positive direction of the x axis. That means x dash is going to be x plus 2. And so too for y dash. We know that our y dash is going to be 3 units in the negative direction of the y axis. So that means it's going to be y minus 3. So y dash is y minus 3. Now this reads, uh, this reads as x dash maps to x plus 2 y minus 3. Now what we do after this is we sub in what we know our original point is going to be. We know our original point was 1, 4. So we put that into the x, y position and then we apply our translation to it. So now we plus two to the one and we minus three to the four and that gets us to our final answer which is right here, three, one. One plus two is three, four minus three is one and that's how we get here. Perfect. Now you're probably thinking to yourself that was needlessly complicated but believe me this notation is really going to be helpful to us uh, later on. Okay let's now move on to another example of this. And it says, find the image of the point 4, 5 after a mapping of a translation of three units in the negative direction of the x-axis and four units in the negative direction of the y-axis. Okay, so let's take it slow and let's use our uh, graph here to visualize what's going on. We're starting at the point 4, 5. 4, 5. We're going to call this x, y. We're then applying some translations to it. We're going three units in the negative direction of the x-axis and four units in the negative direction of the y-axis. So I'm going three units in the negative direction of the x-axis. So that's going to be one, two, three, plus three, or sorry, minus three. And then four units in the negative direction of the y-axis, four, one, two, three, four. 
So this is minus four. So minus three for three units in the negative direction of the x-axis, minus four for four units in the negative direction of the y-axis. And that's going to get us to our new point, which we call x dash y dash. Okay, let's now use our fancy notation to answer this because we can immediately say what the answer is going to be. We know that the answer is going to be one, one, but let's just use our you know fancy notation here. We start with our original point. We go to our new point, which is x dash y dash. We then rewrite this sentence, x, y maps to x dash is going to be x minus three and y dash is going to be y minus four. We then say what x, x, y is going to be. It's going to be four, five. We then put that into here. So into my x spot, I put four, four minus three. Into my y spot, I put five, five minus four. I then rewrite it for my final time. Four minus three is one, five minus four is one. This is one, one, and hey, that's one, one as well. This is one, one. And that is our answer. And that's the notation that I really want you to become familiar with. All right, let's just do one more similar type question here, which says, uh, describe in words the transformation shown. So we're starting here at x, y, and we're going to x dash y dash. It's important that you know that you're starting here and you're going there. Now, it says describe in words the transformation shown. We know what type of transformation this is. It is a translation. So it's going to be a translation of, now what is, uh, am I going left, right? What am I doing? Well, obviously I'm going one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going plus six, so I'm going a translation of six units in the positive x direction. And then it looks like I'm going one, two, three, four, five. So it's plus five. Uh, and five units in the positive y direction. Perfect. And that's what it is. So we've now described that in words. What's actually very important here is that we use the word uh, translation. So I'm thinking to a uh, question in a year 12 exam when they asked for uh, to describe the transformation and people just said things like go six right and two up or six right and five up and uh, that was marked incorrect because you had to use the word translation because that's the type of transformation happening here. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. So describe a transformation, six units in the positive x direction and then five units in the positive y direction. And you can even see that there. We're going negative four to two, so that's plus six. Then we're going negative three to two, that's going to be plus five. Okay, let's keep on going and let's fill out this table here. So this is again, just getting our head around this notation. So the type of transformation that we're going to look at first is our horizontal translation. And if it's H units in the positive X direction, that means we're going right. So let's just put that there. And if we were now to write that in terms of this notation, so we're starting with our original point X, Y, this is our new point X dash Y dash. If I'm going H units in the positive X direction, what is my X dash going to be equal to? Well, it's going to be X plus H. And what's my Y dash going to be equal to? Well, it's just going to be equal to Y because it's not moving. If I'm going H units in the negative X direction, that means I'm going left. So this is my original point. This is my new point. If I'm going H units in the negative X direction, what is X dash going to be? It's going to be X minus H. What's my Y dash going to be? It's just going to be Y. Let's come over here. So now we're looking at vertical translations. If I'm going K units in the positive Y direction, that means I'm going up. So this is my original point. This is my new point. If I'm going up, obviously my X doesn't change. So X dash is just X and my Y dash is going to be Y plus K. If I am going K units in the negative Y direction, that means I'm going down. 
This is my original point. This is my new point. X dash is going to be X and Y dash is going to be Y minus K. Perfect. Let's now fill out these questions here. So again, these are examples of just translating a single point. It says, find the image of the point one negative five after a mapping of a translation of three units in the negative direction of the x-axis and one unit in the positive direction of the y-axis. Okay, so we start with our original point. We are then going to our new point. We're going to rewrite this sentence. We're starting with our original point. We know that x dash is going to be x minus 3. And we know that because we're told that we're going three units in the negative direction of the x axis. And we know that our y dash, well, it says one unit in the positive direction of the y axis. So that's going to be y plus 1. We know what our original point is going to be. It's going to be 1, negative 5. So I go 1, negative 5. I now put that into my x spot, so 1 minus 3. This is going to be negative 5 plus 1. So that means 1, negative 5. This is going to be negative 2. And this is going to be negative 4. And this right here is going to be my answer. So let's get a highlighter and let's highlight it. Okay, let's now look at our next one. Here it says, defined by the rule uh, this to this. Okay, so let's begin. We're starting with our original point. We're going to our new point. We know what the new point is going to be because the question itself tells us it's going to be x plus 2, y minus 1. So x dash equals x plus 2, y dash equals y minus 1. We then know what our original point is, is 1 minus 5. And then we sub that into this. One plus two is three, negative five minus one is negative six. So it's gonna be three, negative six. Let's give that a highlight. You might like to pause the video and try the next two questions for yourself. Okay. It says eight units in the positive direction of the x-axis and five units in the negative direction of the y-axis. Uh, I think I want to show you that you could answer this question very, very quickly. Because if we know that our original point is one, negative five, we know that the original point is one, negative five. Actually, let me do this a bit higher. One, negative five. So if we're going eight units in the positive direction of the x-axis, that means it's going to be one plus eight. And then if we're going five units in the negative direction of the y-axis, five units in the negative direction, that's gonna be minus five here. So that means one negative five is going to be going to nine negative 10. That's going to be our answer. And you're probably thinking to yourself, well, why are we kind of bothering ourselves with all this complicated notation beforehand if we can do it that easily? And the answer is going to come when we see more complicated questions and this notation uh, really helps us. So just to fill in the background here, this is kind of the notation I want you to become familiar with. And I know it seems laborious, but trust me, it is going to be very helpful uh, later on. Perfect. Five units in the negative y direction. Eight units. Perfect. All right, last one here. And let's go through this the long way. So we're going here x dash y dash then we're going x y x dash is going to be equal to x minus 1 y dash is y minus 3 we know that the point that we're starting with is 1 negative 5 it's going to be 1 minus 1 negative 5 minus 3 1 negative 5 this is going to be 1 minus 1 is 0 this is going to be negative 8 and that's going to be our answer. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to pause this video here. And then uh, in the next video, I'll go through part two, which is going to be about not just translating a single point, but rather translating an entire graph. Hopefully you found this useful and you have a good grasp of translating a single point. 
I'll see you in the next video.